How's it going guys? My name is Jimmy Champagne and welcome to this week's Chuck Date. This week we're talking about the Child's Play TV show because while we were all watching the Child's Play remake trailer, Nick and Tosca sat down with Slash Film and they asked him a ton of questions about the show and he revealed some pretty cool stuff. The first interesting piece of news is that the working title for the show right now is just Chucky. Nick and Tosca says that's because they're bringing the show back to its roots, which makes sense to me after the bizarre ending of Cult of Chucky. The title Chucky also fits in with the naming convention they've used since Bride of Chucky and Nick and Tosca says they went with it because when you hear it, you instantly think of Chucky and it's super recognizable. And you know what? I completely agree. In Cult of Chucky, it's revealed that Charles Lee Ray has figured out how to split his soul and put it in a different body, sort of like a horcrux from Harry Potter. He puts it into multiple good guy dolls, he also puts it into Nika's body, and then he takes Tiffany's soul out of the Tiffany doll and then puts it into Jennifer Tilly's body and takes Alice's soul from Curse of Chucky and puts that into the Tiffany doll. The point here is that Charles Lee Ray can be in multiple good guy dolls at once. And Tosca says the show picks up right after Cult of Chucky, and even though all of the mythology that came before it is being considered here, it's going to be a jumping on point, so if you haven't seen those other movies, specifically the directed DVD ones, you'll be totally fine to jump in and watch this show. The article gets a little misleading after that because the writer starts speculating on how this is the year of 2019 and we have cell phones now so you could record Chucky and post them on social media, but none of that came from Antosca, so I wouldn't consider this show getting too big just yet. I've seen some speculation out there that Charles Lee Ray is going to split his soul even more and put it into more good guy dolls and those will find their ways into other kids hands and that the show will take a monster of the week type approach where every week we'll get to see a new kid's perspective coming into contact with a good guy doll. Now I think that's just a little too ambitious for what this show really is. I've read that the show is going to be an 8 to 10 episode series as opposed to something that's 6 episodes like Channel Zero which is more of an anthology type mini series. Based on what we've heard from Nick Antosca and Don Mancini instead of being a direct sequel to Cult of Chucky that picks up like 5 minutes minutes after and has the exact same storyline, I think it's going to exist in that world but be more of an offshoot or story inspired by those movies, where the doll that a new kid or a new family gets is just one of the dolls that has a piece of Charles Lee Ray's soul in it, which kind of links it to Cult of Chucky but doesn't necessarily tie it into the same story. That being said, considering that the show is canon, everyone's kind of wondering what characters will show up in it from the other movies and whether or not they'll be main characters, side characters, or just cameos. Nick and Tosca did double down on the fact that this is going to be all new characters and that's the main focus, but he didn't want to talk too definitively about it and said he'd leave it up to Don Mancini. So we might see something like an episode featuring Fiona Dourif and we might see Jennifer Tilly coming in, but of course, Brad Dourif is confirmed to be the voice of Chucky for the entire thing and that's the most important thing to me. I really wanted Brad Dourif to sign on for this and I'm really glad he did. Now thankfully there was no mention of Glenn slash Glenda and I know that character has a little bit of a fan base out there and Don Mancini might have teased a couple times that it would would come back, but honestly guys, I feel like including it would be a huge mistake because a lot of people, most of the Child's Play fan base, in fact, see Seed of Chucky as the low point or sort of like rock bottom of the franchise, and bringing that character back not only creates unnecessary work, but it feels like playing with fire, especially considering that a lot of people are pitting the show against the remake, so bringing back the character that people feel like killed your franchise probably wouldn't be the smartest move. Something kind of interesting that I've noticed since I started making these Child's Play videos is that the audience seems to be skewing a little bit younger than your average horror movie. Now I can't pinpoint any ages, but going into my analytics, it seems like they're from the age range of 13 to 16. Now that's not inherently good or bad. People can like horror movies, and honestly I, I'm fine with young kids liking horror movies because the genre will keep growing, but when you consider that the new movie looks like it's going to be rated R, that's cutting off a huge chunk of your fan base. And the Sci-Fi Network is a channel that a lot of people get, it comes with most basic cable packages, so automatically, right out of the gate, the show will probably probably have a pretty big audience because it is so accessible. Now I am really excited for the TV show, but I have one big worry for it, and that's that they won't be able to come up with a story that's good enough to span 8 to 10 episodes, because that's 8 to 10 hours. That's a lot of content for Chucky and Charles Lee Ray, especially considering that they're simplifying the story again and bringing it back to its roots just like they did in Curse of Chucky. That's one thing that the new movie has over this TV show, honestly, that it's only going to be 90 to 120 minutes long. And speaking of the new remake, I wanted to let you guys know that I I've seen this picture floating around Twitter and Instagram that people think is an official photo of the new Chucky. Unfortunately, it's fake. 
kind of. The reason I know this one's fake is because it's obviously flipped 180 degrees and it looks kind of weird and the hair isn't blended right at all. But I will say, if this is showing off the little bit of CGI touch up that the doll is gonna have in the movie, I think it looks a lot better than the pictures that have leaked out over the past few months. It gives me a little bit more hope for the movie, which I honestly needed right about now. That's it for the Chuck date this week, but if you're still here, you're probably a subscriber. So I wanted to let you know that I just launched my Patreon page. I made it really basic and simple because I want the focus to stay my YouTube channel and not making money on Patreon, which I hope makes sense to you guys. The way it's set up is that I have a $1, $3, and $5 tier. The $1 tier gets you access to my Patreon page and a cool role on my Discord server. The $3 tier gets you a different role on my Discord server and you get to participate in our monthly horror movie book club. And aside from a different Discord role, the $5 tier not only lets you vote on the movies we'll pick for the book club that month, but it also lets you submit them, so we get to pick from your movie choices. This Patreon page is only for people who really want to support me, and if you can't afford it or you just don't want to donate, that's totally fine. The YouTube channel is going to stay free and exactly the same as it always was. And just to be clear, my channel isn't changing at all. If you can't afford it or you just don't want to donate, that's totally fine. Everything is going to stay exactly the same for you. But let me know what you think of this week's Chuck date down in the comments below, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to join the Thorn Cult today and do so. Anyway guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.